Hello and welcome to Purple Pie Studios. So the FIFA World Cup is underway and in this special occasion I want to show you guys how to animate a bicycle kick in After Effects with the help of the Twig Basil plugin. So let's start. A bicycle kick is an extension of a jump animation or even you can consider it as a backflip. So to animate a bicycle kick you first need to understand how to animate a jump. So to animate a jump animation properly, there are some important key poses that you need to add in your animation to make your animation look natural. So there are all total of around 7 key poses for a jump animation. So the animation starts with a neutral pose. After that the character dips down and prepares for the jump. This is called the anticipation. After that the character pushes the ground to take off. This is also the last contact point between the ground and the foot before the character takes off. And this is one of the most important key poses in your animation for a jump. If you don't add it, it is going to look something like this. So after the push pose, the character floats for a moment in the mid ear and then it contacts for the first time in the ground. This is called the contact pose. So after the contact pose, there is a recovery pose where the character dips down again and then it gets back to a neutral pose. So these are the most important key poses for a jump animation. And if you want to learn it in even more details, then I have a separate tutorial on this. I will be linking it in the description or you can click on the i button on the top right corner to check out the tutorial. Okay, now let's jump into After Effects and start with the rigging process. So right now, we are going to start with the character rigging process. So we are going to use the Dwig Basil plugin and let's start with the arms. So for the arm, I have also added a reference exactly at the center of the overlap. So let's solo the layer and for the arm, we are going to select an arm structure layer and let's reposition the structure layers. So now we are going to parent the hand with the hand structure, the forearm with the forearm structure layer and the arm with the arm structure layer. And let's select all the structure layers and click on auto rig to rig the arm. So the arm is rigged. So I'm going to use the exact same process to rig the other side of the hand. So now we are going to rig the legs. So let's select the leg illustration layers and solo it. And then for the foot, we're going to add some puppet pins so then later on we can distort the foot. After adding the puppet pins, we are going to convert these pins into the bone layer. Let's rename the layers. So now we're going to parent the heel with the foot, the toe tip with toe and the toe with the foot. Now we're going to add the structure layers. So this time around, we're going to select the leg structure. Let's reposition the structure layers. So now we're going to parent the thigh with the thigh structure, then this one with this structure. And after that, we're going to parent the foot bone layer with the foot structure layer. So now we are going to select all the structure layer of the leg and we can click on auto rig to rig the leg. So with this the leg is rigged and I am going to use the exact same process to rig the other side of the leg. So now we are going to add some puppet pins on the body layer so that we can distort it a bit. So let's add one puppet pin over here. One here and one here at the chest and one for the neck. So we are going to convert these pins into the bone layer again. And let's rename the layers. So then we are going to parent the neck with the neck bone layer and then we are going to change the anchor point position of the head to somewhere around here and we are going to parent it with the neck layer and after that we are going to parent the thigh structure layers from the legs with the hip layer and then select the arm structure layers and we are going to parent it with the neck structure layer and after that we are going to parent the spine with the hip 
chest with the spine and the neck bone layer with the chest so right now the whole body is rigged and the last thing that we can do is we can parent the hand controllers with the hip layer so right now the whole character is fully rigged to animate so now we're going to learn how to animate a bicycle kick as i said earlier the bicycle kick is an extension of a jump animation so these are the key poses for a bicycle kick so first the character anticipates for the jump after that the character pushes the ground to take off this is the push pose similar to a jump animation then there's a mid air pose where the character rotates and kick the ball after that there's a contact pose where the character touches the ground for the first time after the take off and then there's an overshoot and the character gets back to the neutral pose now one important point you need to keep in mind while animating a bicycle kick is that the character raises the opposite leg first and pushes the ground with the leg that the character is going to use to kick the ball so this action is actually used to balance the body while rotating and kicking now let's jump into after effects and start with the animation so the character is in a neutral pose now we're going to select the hand and the leg controllers and put keyframes on the position and the rotation property after that also i'm going to put a keyframe on the position property of the hip layer as well as the rotation property and same with these layers as well then we are going to jump on to next seven frame and we are going to bring down the body a bit and here is the anticipation pose we can even add some rotation in the forward direction and let's fix the position of the hand now let's jump on to next 12 frames and we are going to make the key pose for the kick so for that we can select the hip and the foot controllers and simply lift the body up and we are going to also rotate the body and fix the position of the foot controllers now after that from the anticipation we are going to jump on to next five frame and here we are going to add a push pose so the character is kicking with this leg and this leg should be used to push the ground so let's jump on to five frame and here we are going to match the position of this one first copy and paste the keyframes and also we are going to bring the body down a bit and we can change the position of the hand just to somewhat like this the hand should be directed a bit upwards after that from here we are going to jump on to next nine frame and here we are going to rotate the body completely 360 degrees and we are going to settle down the body for this contact pose we can slightly rotate the chest a bit outward then we are going to jump on to next 11 frame and we are going to settle down the body and the character is get back to the neutral pose so we have added all the required key poses of a bicycle kick animation and i have used this exact timing for the final animation then you have to modify the motion path for the hand and the foot controller you have to make the motion path smooth in between the transition of the key poses and then you can go frame by frame to check each of the poses of a character in between the key poses if required you can even add some in between poses then to fix the joint issues you can animate the arm structure layers for the arm joints for the leg with the body joint you can animate the thigh structure layer and for the body you can animate the shape path property of the body layer so these are the techniques i used 
for this bicycle cake animation. I hope you learned something out of it, which you can use it in your future projects. So that is it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you liked the video, make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubts regarding the techniques, then make sure to comment down below. I would be happy to help you out. And if you're here for the first time, make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates. Until then, goodbye.